Hello everyone, this is Connor, uh, Boats Don't Sink, here with Iron City Games. Uh, this is going to be a quick video, I just wanted to cover some new information we got in the last hour or two. Uh, as you all uh, hopefully know, uh, the English Conference Autumn 2021 was uh, about an hour and a half, two hours ago. And we got some new information for English Edition at Vice Schwartz in it. Not a whole lot. But uh, enough that I just want to cover it for anyone that was not able to see the event uh, as it premiered. So, first up, uh, obviously the Bouchard English, uh, English Conference Autumn 2021. This was kind of advertised as a live stream, and it wasn't. It was just a video premiere on YouTube, which was a little disappointing. But it had some information for us, so we're going to take a look at it. The first thing, uh, well, this wasn't actually completely new in the live stream. It was relatively new. Uh, Mushoku Tensei is releasing in English on March 11th. We finally have a date for that. That was revealed uh, somewhere around 18 to 20 hours ago, I believe. Um, so before the stream, but most people probably didn't see it until the stream. This is about what we were expecting. It's one month after Rent a Girlfriend. So, you know, following normal, uh, normal spacing there. Not a whole lot to say about that. Uh, the next thing we got was, I'm going to be honest, probably the biggest disappointment um, I've had with English in a while. Uh, this set, so we're getting this April 8th, uh, the Bang Dream Girls Band Party Premium Booster. This is a product that released in Japan. It is probably the single worst product that will ever release in English Vice Shorts. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. It is a 35 card set, so let me go to the next slide here. So, uh, these are some, some BDRs, which is one of the rarities in it. We've had that rarity in uh, Multi-Live, I believe, was the only other English set that had it. Uh, this is a 35-card set. Assuming the R boxes are the same as Japan's, each box has seven cards in it. Or, I'm sorry, seven packs. Each pack has five cards. So, you get 35 cards in a box. All right, there are seven bands in Bang Dream currently each with five girls. So yes, you, you open a box, you get seven packs, one pack is each band, each pack has one of each girl in it. So you get one of each card in a box. The packs come with four SRs, which are just your normal SRs, uh, and one BDR, which are these stamped, they just have like a quote on them, hot stamped. Um, problem here is that out of these 35 cards, there are only five different effects. Each band just gets the same five effects with, like, their trait swapped out, right? So you can even see on the top row here, uh, the Aya, Kasumi, and Kokoro all have the exact same effect. Uh, on the bottom row, the Layer and Ron both have the exact same effect. None of these effects are particularly noteworthy. Uh, there's a 0, 0, 4000 with two demerits, and there's a 2 one backup, and that's about as good as it gets. Everything else is either just actual copy pastes of existing Bang Dream effects, or not even good enough to consider when the other Bang Dream effects exist. Uh, this set is bad. If you are a die-hard Bang Dream fan and want to collect these BDRs, sure, I guess. They might look pretty in your binder. That is about all this set is good for. Um... I'm actually just kind of mad that they, they actually used up a release slot for this, especially if you know, they're already kind of struggling to get products out on time. Uh, this seems like an absolute waste to me. So, uh, absolutely not happy with this one. But, it is what it is. So, we're getting that April 8th. Um, yeah. Next thing, uh, we got a release date for Hollow Live. This is a little later than I was expecting, mostly because I wasn't expecting uh, Bang Dream to take up a release slot. But, it is still in April. April 29th will be Hollow Live. We are getting all seven trial decks and the booster pack on the same day. I thought maybe they'd split these by a week um, just to make printing easier, but no, all on the same day. Seven boost, uh, seven trial decks and the booster pack. Uh, this released in Japan about three weeks ago. Um, set has been selling out like hotcakes over there. The SSPs look beautiful. Uh, super excited for this in English. I know a lot of people are excited for this, so this will be great. Uh, so that's just a date. Uh, Tokyo Revengers, no actual new information. We already had the date for this. Uh, however, the key visual that they use here does show us that we are going to be getting censored artwork, most likely for the English edition. We still don't know whether Japanese will use the censored artwork or the uncensored. Uh, it could go either way. Uh, but you can see on Draken's right arm, 
uh, near his elbow, there is that blank black spot in the middle of the text. Uh, that is where the swastika would be on his arm uh, in the uncensored version. So, I mean, uh, people get usually get mad about censoring, but I think like everyone can agree that this is just pretty reasonable and probably just should be censored from the start. It's not like we're actually missing out on anything here. Um, so, yeah, cool. Uh, that is honestly probably just a good thing. Uh, otherwise, no new information for Tokyo Revengers, other than it, it hasn't been delayed. New announcements, uh, apart from Bang Dream, we get Fate Grand Order, Divine Realm of the Round Table, Camelot, coming summer 2022. I would expect this probably in June after Tokyo Revengers. So, if Tokyo Revengers is May 13th, uh, let me check a calendar here real quick. Uh, I'd probably be looking at like June 17th for Fate Grand Order, assuming you no know, like unforeseen delays and stuff. Uh, this releases in Japan in, like, a week, so we have most of the cards from it. I don't think we have the entire set list quite yet. We'll probably have that next week. Uh, set's pretty cool. It does have a lot of, like, pseudo-reprints of cards from the Babylonia set, uh, in case you were unaware. The Camelot set... So, the Babylonia set used the traits Chaldea and Camelot... Or, I'm sorry, Chaldea and Babylonia. The set uses Chaldea and Camelot, so a lot of the cards are not going to work with each other. Some of them will. Uh, the Chaldea ones obviously overlap. The uh, Babylonia and Camelot ones are kind of separate. And some cards just check for, like, color or backstage instead of trait, stuff like that. So you can do a little bit of mixing here and there, but not a whole ton. Um, so we did get a lot of the effects from set one sort of reprinted in this set with, like, slight changes and adjusted to the new trait. And also a lot of new cards. So it's a pretty cool set. Um, I'm actually a bit excited for this one. I think it's going to be fairly popular. Um, it still doesn't look to be like game-breakingly powerful, but fairly, fairly popular and cool. Other new set we got, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Uh, I think this was another one that most people probably expected. Uh, super popular anime. Uh, check it out if you haven't. It's actually pretty good. Um, I would expect this probably either July or August, depending on whether they do another English original in July next year. The past three years, we've had English originals scheduled for July. Uh, so they might try to do that again, and that might push this to August, or this could just be July, who knows. Uh, but yeah, so this set releases in Japan in about a month, uh, near the end of November, and we only have a small handful of cards for it so far, so we don't really know what the set's going to look like. Uh, but it does, so far, seem to have quite a good bit of flavor. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we get for that. Uh, so we'll hopefully have more information on that one by the time, you know, people are actually doing pre-orders and stuff like that. Like I said, set comes out in a month, so we'll start getting spoilers soon for Japanese. Uh, other than that, that's all the set information we got. Tournaments. Um, we didn't get any announcements for physical events. Uh, a lot of people are upset about this, but I don't think it's really surprising. Uh, a... A lot of places in the world still are in kind of a state of, not lockdown, but uh, a lot of caution being taken, uh, reasonably. Um, and most major trading card games still haven't started up events, uh, or still haven't announced events, for uh, that are actually like supported by the company. Um, you've had lots of like third-party events starting to pop up now, but nothing actually supported. Uh, Flesh and Blood is running a tournament series currently. Uh, and Pokemon, in the last few days, just announced that they're attempting to bring back regionals starting in March. So maybe we'll get stuff next year. We don't really know for sure yet. Um, we didn't get an announcement on it today. Uh, I will say, though, normally the spring seasons for Bushiroad games aren't announced until late December or early January. So it would be a bit early for us to get that anyway. So there, it, there is still time. I wouldn't lose all hope yet, um, but I still wouldn't count for sure on there being anything in the spring. However, we did get a little tiny bit of information on Bushiroad Rumble Online, uh, which is the winter tournament. Uh, we got dates. That's honestly about it. Um, they're still doing regions separated like they did for Springfest. There's the AO, NA, LA, and EU events. Um, dates are... You can see them on the screen here. Vice Schwartz is January 15th and 16th. So Ruby will be out, Bang Dream will not. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty much just going to run exactly the same as Bushiroad Springfest. Um, it'll just be a one-day event, cut to top eight, etc. 
Um, the reason you see two days here is because of like time zones and stuff, and there's three tournaments. The tournaments aren't all going to happen at the same time. Um, so you will, if you want to play in two, you will be able to play in the Asia, Oceania, and Europe, probably. Uh, you won't be able to play in North America plus another one unless you scrub out of one pretty early. Um, assuming they're all scheduled like they were for the spring. We don't have like actual times and stuff quite yet. Hopefully we'll get that soon. Uh, the one thing they did say is that after the positive feedback from Bushiroad Spring Fest, they are doubling the capacity for this event. Uh, I believe the Spring Fest event's capped at like 128 players? Um, that's just off the top of my head. That number might be wrong. Um, I want to say 128, though. And they're up and get to 256 now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I know some people missed North America because of the player cap. I don't think AO capped. Um, I don't know about Europe, but I know some people did miss the North America event because of the cap, so hopefully more people will be able to play because of that. Uh, but that is, unfortunately, all the information we got from the English Conference Autumn 2021. Um, expectations were low going in. I They didn't really do anything surprising or exciting. Uh, the two new set announcements are cool. Uh, I do think most people would agree that they were the most obvious sets to get announced, though. So we'll, you know, it's cool, but nothing, nothing groundbreaking here. So thank you for watching. Uh, as always, you can find me on Twitter at Boats Don't Sink. You can find the store at Iron City Games 1, Iron City Games on Facebook, and check us out on TCG Player, ironcitygames.tcgplayerpro.com. You can use the code ICGConnor when pre-ordering a playset to get a $25 discount on it. So go check that out. Uh, we have singles for all the recent sets. We'll have singles for all the sets upcoming um as far as we know so yeah thanks for watching and we'll have some more content out with the sword art set releasing in a few weeks see you then